So today we want to discuss a topic titled Stepping into Favor. Stepping into Favor. If you have been following us from the one, we have moved from salvation to understanding what fasting and prayer is all about. The right kind of fasting and prayer. We have moved to being able to do the word of God, applying the word of God. We have forged ahead into what God can do. We have moved a little bit last week from deliverance side of ministration. Today we want to start talking about a crucial part of a man's life. And that is the side of favor. Listen to me, apart from salvation, saving our soul from damnation, apart from power demonstration, manifesting God's power, showcasing the power of Jesus, apart from deliverance over our life, deliverance over our life from the shackles of darkness, there is something called favor. If you obtain deliverance, if you are saved, but if you don't experience the favor of God, then you are still in trouble. Because everything that you desire for only by grace of God can you attain to all of them. It takes God's favor to manifest. It takes God's favor to rule on this earth. There are things that can never happen in your life if you don't have the favor of God. Listen to me. We don't succeed by labor alone. Labor has its place in success, while favor has its place in success. Ask any great man in life, ask anyone who has attained greatness in life, he will testify to a fact that it takes the mixture of favor and labor to become great in life. Favor of God must rub on your labor in life for you to be able to experience some level of peace, manifestation, and glory of God in your life. Are you following me? In my little stay here on earth, observing things, in my little years, that by the mercy of God I have spent here on earth, I have come to discover that we are in a world where the best is not given to the best. We are in a world where one thing you are searching for in life is being searched for by more than one million people at a time. We are in a world where people merit some things, but they don't get it in life. We are in a world where when you are ignorant of God's side of success, you struggle in vain. We are in a world where many people lobby so much to get a thing that rightfully belongs to someone else. Beloved, I discover one unique ability that must not be joked with. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, in verse 10, it's in verse 9, he said, For I am the least of the apostles, that I am me to be called to be apostle, me to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church. But by grace of God, I am what I am. His grace was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labor more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, the grace of God, which was with me. 
Apostles Paul say, I am the smallest of them all. In short, I am the least of every one of them. When you go to the group of the apostles, I am the least of them all. Say, but one thing I have enjoyed is unusual grace of God. Grace simply means unmerited favor of Jehovah God. When you enjoy unmerited favor of God, Apostle Paul say, I am what I am today by the grace of God. He said, I am not qualified to be among the lead, but I have been come well. He said, but it is not all about my labor. He said, but it is about the favor of God. Psalm 102 verse 13 says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, the set time has come. It is important for me and you to know that it takes favor to reign. Today, I pray for somebody. Favor will shine upon you. If you can see a very loud amen in your room to shout, I speak to your spirit, I speak to your soul, I speak to your body. From today, the garment of shame is torn out of your life. I speak again to your spirit and I speak again to your soul. The garment of shame is therefore destroyed in your life. Today, the garment of near success syndrome is therefore destroyed in your family. The garment, the garment of it is my own, but I never touch it, is broken out of your life today. God said it is time to show favor to Zion. May you experience favor now in the name of Jesus. My beloved in Christ, Elevation comes by favor. Do you remember the story of David? David was elevated by favor. It was the favor of God that elevated David. Look at what Apostle Paul said. He said, I am the smallest of them all. He said, I am not even qualified to be among them. He said, but by the grace of God, I am what I am today. He say, even though I labor more abundantly, but it is not more of the labor alone, but the grace of God that have uh, elevated me. Beloved, listen, there are people who wake up 5 a.m. but close. You wake up 5 a.m. and close so late in the night, but still, they, 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 they can't pay for a room. Beloved, why there are people who work only one hour, get to the office by one hour, one major contract, their story change. I'm talking about favor of God. Favor is the only reason why a nobody can be somebody in life. Favor, when you rub on your labor, you see supernatural manifestation. Labor is the ability of a man to work hard. Favor is the ability of God to put his hand upon the labor of a man. Not everyone who labor enjoys favor. Listen, every laborer needs divine backing to obtain great things in life. I am praying for you in these days of fasting. From this holy ground, I pray for you. Wherever you stay, in any part of the world you stay, favor is going to rub on you. In any part of the world you stay, favor will rub on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, favor will rub on you. I saw in my Bible, in Genesis 29, that by favor, 
Marriage is by favor. I mean, marriage is by favor. I discovered that we don't even just marry because we are beautiful. I mean, that we marry because heaven decide to favor us. Those who are married in this line, in this our Holy Ghost group, we testify. Sometimes you will see those who you say this one is very beautiful, but they are not married. People don't follow them. People don't pursue them. You don't see men want to marry them. But the other one who you may say, ah, it's not too beautiful. It's not, it's not just, it's just there. But people want to marry her. This thing, it is not just the character alone. It is the favor of Jehovah God. When favor rubs on you, I tell you, favor picks you from the back to the front seat. If there are people that needed to, to, to show kindness, favor pick you from the crowd and bring you to the front. Favor brings you to limelight. Favor makes the world to notice you. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice, favor will shine on you today in the name of Jesus. The chapter 29 of Genesis, in chapter 7, in verse 17, the Bible said, 17 and 18, there were two members of a family, Leon and Rachel. The Bible said that Leon has a beautiful eye, and Rachel also has a beautiful eye, but favored by the Lord. Leon has a beautiful eye, but Jay Rachel also has a beautiful eyes, but carries favor. And verse 18, the Bible says, and Jacob fell in love with Leah, fell in love with Rachel, the younger sister. Beloved, if you look at this example, you will discover that we don't marry by just labor alone. We don't marry by beauty alone. I've gone to a place in Abuja sometimes, and I see a young lady who looks so beautiful, very, very beautiful. But she came to me for consultation and was like, look, no man proposed to me. Even when they propose to me, it happens to be those who are married already. But as we were discussing, there was another woman who was on the fat side. And as she was passing, the lady said, ah, I don't know what Senator saw in the body of this one. She doesn't have shape, too fat, but still, Senator just like her. I look at her and I say, she may be so fat, but she carries favor. Listen to me. I said to her, you better pursue her to lay hand on you. She may be so fat and not so beautiful like you, but she carries the favor of God. Today, if you're on this line and you are not yet married and you are single, I pray that favor will single you out for attraction. Favor will single you out to be noticed. If you are not married, if you can see amen to shout, I pray that favor will rub on you. Favor will single you out. If you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, I pray favor will shine on you. Favor will shine on you. Ah, Anna, labor, 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 until one night she prayed, and God decided to show her favor. He took favor of God for an angel to come down and show Mary and say, you are full of grace. In other words, you are full of God's unmerited favor. Ah, the womb opened. Lord, I pray for somebody hearing me. Let that womb open tonight. Let that womb open tonight. Let that womb open tonight. Let your womb open tonight. Let every error with your womb be corrected right now. God is healing somebody's womb right now. God is healing infection. God is healing abnormal menstrual circle. God is healing somebody's womb right now. Receive supernatural healing. In the name of Jesus, receive supernatural healing. In Genesis chapter 39, in verse 6, we discover that prosperity 
elevation is by favor of God. Number one, we say that marital greatness, marital bliss is by favor. Number two, we say that prosperity, elevation, promotion in life have connection with favor. Look at Genesis chapter 39. In verse 6, the Bible says, And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. He knew not what he had, save the bread which he eat. And Joseph was a godly, a goodly person, a well favored. Did you see that? The Bible didn't say Joseph was a goodly person. The Bible said he was a goodly person and well favored. He was well favored. Remember, Mary was said that she was full of grace. Grace, grace, grace. Full of grace. Full of unmerited favor. Now, the Bible says that Jake, Joseph was well favored. In other words, favor rubbed on him massively. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, you need favor to reign. In the midst of nothing, you need supernatural favor of God. How can a strange being in a strange land, how can a slave boy in a strange land, the king took all he has and put in his care? How can a strange being a slave in a land suddenly become a prime minister of the land. How can a strange being, someone who is a stranger, be elevated in the company abroad and be so trusted and loved by the master? Beloved, it is faithful. How can you leave everything you own in the hand of a stranger? No, that is not natural. It is supernatural. It takes favor of God. Listen to me. In a strange land, for you to reign, rule, control things, you need favor. Because naturally, people can live indigent to trust a stranger, but it takes the favor of God. Somebody, you are struggling, why can't they just honor me? Why can't they just respect me? Why can't Jesus accept me? No, you are not an indigent, so you cannot enjoy such privilege. But when you carry favor, favor will shoot you from the back to the front. This evening, if you can see amen to pray, if you can see amen to shout three times, I pray before Jehovah Almighty, I pray before the Lord of hosts, before the end of this April, you will experience great favor. You will experience great favor. You will see great favor. Ah, somebody, I will hear your testimony. Make sure you share your testimony with me. Make sure you share the testimony with me. This month of April, I repeat again. I have that strong confidence in my spirit to repeat my statement. This month, this month of restoration, ah, somebody will favor you. You will see mighty financial favor, mighty spiritual favor, mighty marital favor, mighty ministerial favor. Ah, is rubbing on you now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. What exactly is favor? One more time, favor is God showing you his kindness. When God goes extra mile to show you his kindness. Do you remember what the Bible says in Romans chapter 9? The Bible says in verse 15 that the Lord showeth mercy to whoever he wants to show mercy. When it comes to God's mercy, 
He shows mercy to whoever he wants to show mercy. And in Psalm 102, verse 16 says, the time to favor Zion has come. He said, now is the set time. God alone can promote, elevate, and supernaturally bless a man when favor rub on him. Ah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Favor, it means God showing you his kindness. Do you remember that in 2 Samuel chapter 9, that God showed kindness to Mephibosheth? Favor located him in Lodibar and brought him into palace. And he was shown kindness. That is what favor can do for you. Do you remember in Exodus chapter 6? Do you know that God's favor elevated Mordecai from the back? Even when the enemy have plotted to kill him, God Almighty decided to shift the whole thing by favor. God moved Mordecai from gate and moved him to be favored by the king. That the king begin to search the book and discover something good Mordecai has done in the past but has never been rewarded. Listen to me. There are many things you have done. There are people you have helped in life, but no one remember you. There are many things you have done for people that if they remember and decide to show you kindness, ah, your life will never be the same again. There are things you have done for company that by now it will have changed your story, but nobody have changed your story. Do you know why? It takes more than doing good to, 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 to be elevated. It takes favor. It takes ability for God to remember you and put you in the heart of men before you can find, before they can favor you. Listen to me. Men can be seeing you every day, but remembrance has a lot to do in the heart, with the heart. Until somebody remember you in the heart, he may not remember you physically. Physically, they may not remember you. Until the lay the Lord caused them not to be able to sleep. David could not sleep until he helped Mephibosheth. Today, I speak to you in the name of Jesus. Every good work you have done before, we attract divine favor. God is bringing them to remembrance. Those you have helped, people you have helped, but right now, nobody is remembering you. In the name of Jesus, your helping storehouse is being activated right now. God is activating it. In that strange land, the directors are falling in love with you right now. Everything you own, you have done in the past that have not been rewarded, is therefore activated for reward right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, somebody, today is a day you will see what is called power. Power at work, favor at work. They will remember you. Every coverage of, of no remembrance is removed from your life. Every Mordecai, every Mordecai that have been hidden come to limelight now. Anyone that has been doing conspiracy in the company to destroy the glory of God in your life, to degrade you and stop your promotion, to rubbish and destroy your character. Ah, today, like God who turned the council of Ahitophel upside down, may God begin to turn their council upside down. In the name of Jesus, may your favor be manifest. May your favor manifest right now. May your favor show forth right now. May your favor appear right now. Let your favor appear right now. May your favor appear right now. Number one thing that positions a man for favor is act of service. When a man is faithful to God, when he has act of service, he positions himself for favor. Mordecai was remembered for the good thing he, was, he has done for the king. He was a good man. David was favored. 
Joseph was favored. Joseph was remembered because of his good heart. The help he rendered to someone inside prison. And that prisoner, when he was delivered, remembered him and decided to help him. Listen to me, your act of service, your devotion to God, your good heart attract favor. When you have bad heart, wicked heart, you don't attract favor. Those who attract favor has good heart. They have art of service. The Bible says that God gave talent to people. The one he gave five made another five. The one he gave three made another three. The one he gave one buried his own. When you have the ability to work for God, serve God, you are positioning yourself for favor. When you are the one who acts more in serving people, in blessing people, in parting life of people, you spread your impact everywhere. You want to make people happy. You want to be a blessing to them. You are positioning yourself for supernatural favor of God. When you do that, you are positioning yourself for favor. I've seen people who who come to church and they're acting big man. I've seen people who come to church, they are big man, they don't see favor of God because they are arrogant. Some people, nobody wants to help them because they are not humble enough to be helped. You need to, 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 to be good to people. If you are good to people, you are positioning yourself for favor. When you are good to people, because you don't know who God will use to bless you. God will not come down from heaven to help you. God will use human being to be a blessing to you. Whatever you want from God, God has positioned somebody somewhere to be a, be a blessing to you in that thing. Somebody is a carrier of the grace you are looking for, of the favor you are looking for. This week, you will find that favor. This week, you will see that favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I took my dad to the hospital. And then right in the hospital, I saw somebody else who came to the hospital, uh, but they could not pay for their hospital bill. And where they were just talking, I was talking with the doctor only for the woman to come in crying. And then the voice said to me, Favor her, favor her, favor the son, favor the man. And I went ahead and did what the Lord asked me to do. The point here is, I favored this family. Now, God positioned me at that crucial time for the young lady to pass by and doctor to complain. Listen to me, favor, favor of God is what it takes to rule. When you are good, when you have good heart, humble heart, the way people were talking about the lady, talking about the wife, about her humility, about her being good, but no financial favor. But God use another person to help her. What I'm trying to say is that your favor is not far from you. Don't use your mouth to kill all the people who will favor you in life. Number two, favor works by character. If you have, don't have character, you may not see favor. Joseph was a man of character. The king said, can I find a man with that kind of spirit? Daniel was a man of character. The Bible said he had an excellent spirit. Mordecai has character. He helped the king even when they would not pay him. And he continued to help. Listen to me. When you do things because people will pay you, you may not find favor of God. What brought Joseph to the palace, what brought David to the palace was not killing Goliath. It was playing drum for, for Saul that brought him to palace. Right now, beloved, favor is going to work for you. 
you are going to find favor. You need to have the right character, the right character, attitude to life, attitude to God, the, the right character before God, character, the right character before people, because you don't know who God is going to use to bless you. You don't know who God is going to use to bless you.